Hello. We're reaching out to you from Blessed Sacrament Cathedral Rectory today, the uh, offices. And we want to update you in response to the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. And more importantly, actually, what will be happening uh, moving forward uh, as we move uh, and evolve uh, from where we are today. These last four months have actually been a study in evolution as we moved from a fully open church somewhere in February to mid-March to a building that no one was physically allowed to enter in order to protect everybody involved. Now as we have begun the process of reopening, we're trying to meet the needs of many to keep people safe as well as to provide the Eucharist to God's people. As you are very aware, our first steps back have allowed for visitation on a daily basis, Monday through Thursday from 10 till 3. This also permitted us to offer in-person Masses daily, Monday through Thursday at 11.45 a.m. Friday, the church building has been closed for deep cleaning but as we do every day, we live stream the Mass on Facebook and push it out to you on YouTube later in the day. On weekends, we've had confessions at 11 a.m. in the social hall on Saturday morning, and our Saturday evening vigil Mass has been at 4 p.m. Our Sunday parish Mass is at 10 a.m. Moreover, going forward, this Mass will be live streamed by the diocese and placed on our diocesan and parish Facebook page as well. So far, this Mass schedule has accommodated anyone who has wanted to attend Mass in person. I would like to now give you an update as to what will happen over the summer and going into the fall. Given that the summer months are traditionally our lowest attendance numbers of the year, our plans are to keep the current weekend schedule that I just listed for you until August 1st, 2020. That would be Confession Saturday morning at 11 a.m., Saturday Vigil Mass at 4 p.m., and Sunday Mass live streamed with the Bishop at 10 a.m. Now, on August 1st, barring any changes which might be required by the state or federal governments related to the COVID-19 pandemic, and with the permission of the Bishop, we will revise our weekend Mass schedule, which we will plan to maintain into the fall and for the foreseeable future. I'd ask you to pay very close attention to this revision. Confessions will remain Saturday at 11 a.m. in the parish social hall. The Saturday evening vigil mass will move to 4.30 p.m. 4.30 p.m. Saturday Vigil Mass. Sunday Masses, we will then have two Sunday Masses, 8.30 a.m. and 11 a.m. These new times will, as I said, begin August 1st this summer. This revised schedule was determined after consultation with our Cathedral Parish Council, and our parish staff. The schedule takes into account a number of concerns that needed addressed. Our ability to accommodate all those who wish to attend the Sunday Mass. Our ability to clean the church between all Sunday Masses. And our need to allow sufficient time for Sunday morning faith formation to occur between the two Sunday Masses. The Council and staff discussed numerous weekend Mass time options, as well as the multiple parallel but contending interests 
that are present. The revised times listed above that I mentioned to you are the ones that check most, if not all, of those boxes. Let me say, if there is a huge surge in attendance for our weekend masses before August 1st, we will consider moving the Sunday mass schedule up to a, an earlier date. Additionally, in working with Mr. Joseph Rice, who is the principal at Aquinas Academy, we realize that we will not be able to have nearly as many large all-school masses throughout the school year due to space limitations in the cathedral building related to the COVID-19 pandemic. So as not to diminish the opportunity for our, our Aquinas school children to attend Mass on a regular basis, we are going to keep our daily Mass time Monday through Friday at 11.45 a.m. This change will align more closely with the school's lunch schedule and enable the children to attend Mass and yet still eat lunch at a reasonable time during the school day. We will continue to offer private prayer time from Monday through Thursday from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. We will offer in-person masses beginning August 1st daily, Monday through Friday at 11.45 a.m. Friday, the church building will be closed after the 11.45 a.m. Mass for cleaning. As we do every day, we will live stream the Mass on Facebook and push it out to you on YouTube later in the day. As we progress, we will attempt by every means possible to keep you informed. I want you to realize that although this is a lot of information, all of it will be available through this Facebook video, through a YouTube video that will be published following the Facebook video. It will be in our bulletins and electronically in our bulletins on our website and on our website directly. You don't have to remember all of this or be tested on it. We just really wanted you to hear what's going to happen. Now, as far as staying connected to the Cathedral Parish, we have a new parish app, and this is the easiest way to get updates and the most recent information on things happening in our parish, especially for our faith formation and liturgical events. Our previous parish app is no longer functioning. We need you to download this new app. Our new app is called We Connect, and it's from LPI. Very simply, go to our parish website, search the main page for parish app, click on the links for either Google Play or Apple, Download the app. It's a free download. Follow the directions to download the app. When you're opening the app for the first time, you'll be asked to choose your parish. Hopefully you'll choose Blessed Sacrament Cathedral, Greensburg, PA. Hit select and confirm you want to set this as your parish. Additionally, you're probably aware if you're watching this that we are on Facebook and we have a Blessed Sacrament Cathedral Facebook page. You can get on Facebook, hit search, look up Blessed Sacrament Cathedral, choose that box, and it'll take you to another screen where you will see our page and you click the like button to follow that page. Then you'll get our Facebook page in your news feed and get any updates that you need. Finally, staying connected to the diocese over those many months, I was holding up that sign that said, text FAITH, the word FAITH, to a number. We'll put that number in the uh, all of our uh, electronic media, but it's 724-305-3057. 
and that'll give you up to the minute communication from the diocese. The diocese is also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Finally, you may be asking about in-person meetings and faith formation. The parish has ordered a new deep cleaning ionized sprayer. When that machine is delivered, we will consider the possibility of on-site in-person meetings. Until then, all meetings will be via Zoom or phone conference. Even when we do start to return to in-person meetings, we will leave open the possibility of attendance by Zoom for those who are still not comfortable being in close proximity to other people. We will have more information on faith formation as we get closer to the fall. I really want to thank you as pastor for your continued support of Blessed Sacrament Cathedral. You have been phenomenal and our ability to continue to provide you with this outreach has been sustained by your generosity both in our diocesan Lenten appeal and in our weekly offerings. I ask you and I urge you to continue to do so as we move forward. And as always, let us pray for every single person affected by this pandemic, particularly for those who are alone and lonely. Let us pray for each other that as we move forward, we will continue to do the work of God in the best way possible. God bless you all and have a good day.